the young and the restless spoilers. Ashley Abbott stepped into the sleek, modern offices of Chabot Cosmetics, her heels clicking sharply against the polished marble floors. The air was thick with tension, the kind that only came when too many egos clashed in one confined space. It didn't take long for her sharp, observant eyes to notice the chaos that had overtaken her family's beloved company. Chabot, once a symbol of Abbott pride and legacy, now felt like a battlefield strewn with petty rivalries and questionable alliances. And at the center of it all? Diane Jenkins and Jack Abbott. Ashley's lips tightened into a thin line. Unbelievable, she muttered under her breath, striding toward Jack's office with purpose. She wasn't about to let this mess fester any longer. The root of the chaos. Jack Abbott sat behind his desk, his head in his hands, visibly weary. Across from him stood Diane Jenkins, exuding an air of calm self-assurance that only fueled Ashley's ire as she barged in. Well, well, look who's here, Ashley announced, her voice dripping with sarcasm. The woman who's single-handedly turning Jabot into a circus. Jack shot her a warning look, but Diane didn't flinch. Instead, she crossed her arms and smiled faintly. Nice to see you too, Ashley. Always a pleasure. Ashley ignored the jab and turned her full attention to her brother. Jack, what is going on here? This company used to stand for something, integrity, professionalism, family. And now? Now, it's a soap opera with Diane as the star of the show. Jack sighed heavily, clearly caught in the middle. Ashley, it's not that simple. Diane is here to help. Help? Ashley scoffed, her tone incredulous. Is that what you call this disaster? What's next? Putting Victor Newman on the board for fun? Because that's exactly where this is heading if you keep letting Diane pull the strings. Diane's justification. Diane finally spoke, her tone measured but firm. Ashley, I'm not here to destroy Jabo. I'm here to protect it. Victor Newman has been circling this company like a shark, waiting for the right moment to strike. Jack and I are trying to outmaneuver him before it's too late. Ashley rolled her eyes. Spare me the heroic speech, Diane. You're not doing this for the family or for Jabot. You're doing it for yourself, to worm your way back into Jack's life and use Kyle as a pawn. Diane's composure cracked slightly at the mention of her son. Don't bring Kyle into this. Everything I've done has been to secure his future, our future. Our future? Ashley repeated mockingly. Listen to yourself. You talk like you're already part of this family. But let me remind you, Diane, you're not an abbot. You never will be. Jack. A man torn. Jack stood abruptly, his voice cutting through the heated exchange. Enough. Both of you. He glared at the two women in turn, his frustration palpable. Do you think this is helping anyone? All this bickering, this fighting, it's tearing this family apart. Ashley turned on him, her voice tinged with betrayal. Jack, you're the head of this family. You're supposed to protect our legacy, not hand it over to Diane on a silver platter. And you, Jack shot back, his patience wearing thin, need to realize that we're in a war with Victor. This isn't just about Jabot, it's about the Abbott name, our place in this industry. If we don't stand united, we're going to lose everything. Ashley crossed her arms, her stance defiant. Then start by kicking her out of Jabot. That's the only way we'll have a chance. Jack's gaze flickered to Diane, who looked at him with a mixture of determination and desperation. Ashley, I can't do that. You won't do that, Ashley corrected, her voice icy. The brewing battle. As Ashley stormed out, Diane turned to Jack. You know I'm right, she said softly. This isn't about me. Ashley just needs someone to blame, and I'm the easy target. Jack pinched the bridge of his nose, exhausted. Diane, I don't know how much longer I can do this. Every time I try to keep the peace, it just gets worse. Diane placed a hand on his arm. You're doing what you have to for the family. That's all that matters. But Jack wasn't so sure anymore. 
The rift between Ashley and Diane wasn't just about business or personal grudges, it was a battle for control, for dominance in a family that had always thrived on unity. And now, that unity was crumbling. The Clash of Titans The tension between Ashley and Diane escalated over the next few days, spilling into board meetings, family dinners, and even public events. Each woman believed she was fighting for the greater good of the Abbott family, but their methods and motives were worlds apart. Ashley wanted to restore order and tradition, to rid Jabot of Diane's influence and bring the company back to its roots. Diane, on the other hand, was focused on protecting Jack and Kyle from Victor's schemes, even if it meant alienating the rest of the family.